Hey guys, Double here, and I decided to start in here just to point out, when have you ever been in an area after the second gym where they're level six? And yeah, I ran because Paris can have its effects spore and I'm right at the strand. Really don't want to run all the way back out to heal. So, uh, if you have a shiny Pichu that you happen to get in an event and haven't transferred it to gem five or six yet, uh, you can bring it here and something will happen. Also, if you have an event Celebi and haven't transferred it, which the event Celebi should be really unlikely because, well, it did something in black and white too. No, black and white, not black and white too. I meant as well, but the Celebi does something in this game too. And another freaking level five. I may look over level being level 20, but believe me, the leveling in this game is terrible. Terrible. And it... There will be a point where you'll wonder how, why they didn't fix it in this game. And I'll point it out, don't worry. So, if you've seen on the sidebar, you probably already know, but if you've seen like a picture of a tree with Pokemon. This is what that is. Uh, in the Johto games, there's a mechanic where if a Pokemon has headbutt, they can uh, shake trees and certain Pokemon will come out. I generally will place Tackle because as you notice, it's much more powerful. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the starters can learn it. It's unlimited use. So if you want headbutt on anything at all, uh, feel free to come here because, as I said, I'm limited years. So basically what it looks like, I think this tree, it only works. You can do it on every single type of tree, but only specific trees will give you anything. I believe this is one of them. Also, I'd suggest not having the Pokemon in your front. Okay. Because you'll move. If they're not the front in your party, then you won't be forced to move. But anyway, uh, there's a Pokemon I want to catch that's not in this forest that requires headbutt. Um, but the Pokemon that are either exclusively through headbutting or um, uh, just have we haven't seen them yet through head. We just haven't seen them yet, but they're now available through headbutting. Are Pineco, Execute, Venonat, Apom, and Heracross. Uh, Pineco is a really bulky bug type that evolves into a bug steel. It's actually quite good, to be honest. Um, it's it's meant as a wall, so if you want... It's not as good in-game, because generally walls aren't the best in-game. Um, just because... They just aren't. But it's still a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, Execute. Another one of those silly Pokemon that requires a stone to evolve. I, I, okay, in case... I don't think I've explained it, but the reason stones are so annoying is... Uh, each stone has a specific trainer that will randomly phone you and say they found it. You have to get to them in a set time and talk to them and then they'll give you the stone. Or there's a way in the post game that's a little easier, you just have to bring a certain type of Pokemon to a specific NPC uh, and they'll give it to you. Or you could use the Pokathlon and buy them on certain days which makes it a little easier but I, I, I still don't like it. But anyway, I, again they're a Pokemon I'd like to use just because I do like them. Oops. But at the same time, the stone thing. Um, Venonat is a poison bug type. It's pretty meh, to be honest. I don't really like it that much. It's decent, though. Uh, Apom. Apom's a pretty cool little dude. He's a pure normal type got an evolution in Generation 4 that you can access in Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's something I like about Heart Gold Soul Silver over Fire Red Leaf Green. Fire Red Leaf Green, say Crobat, that was an evolution that was 
added not in Gen 1. Crobat was locked out. Whereas, uh, if the evolution occurs naturally, such as through friendship or through uh, level up or like Apom's a level up with a move, specific move, then you can actually obtain them in this game, which is really nice. And last but not least, Heracross. Heracross is a Pokemon I use on almost all my playthroughs of this game. Um, it's a bug fighting type. It's pretty good. Um, it's rare, but if you can find one, go ahead and use one. And I'm just going to cut this out because battling level 8 Spearows is going to be extremely boring. So I'll be right back. And finally, I found a female one. But I can't have female one for what I'm planning on nickname and let's just try a Pokeball. And I'm gonna move. I don't think you saw it, but my Well, you didn't because I disabled mouse cursor, but my cursor was over the run button, which I really didn't want. I, I'm afraid to attack it. But yes, I am using an Apom, and I actually have a name for this one. Yeah, I, I was going back and forth a little bit between uh, Apom and Heracross. <clears throat> but I decided, since I used Heracross a lot more, and haven't actually really used an Apom, and I quite like Apom and its evolution, Ambipom, um that I think I'll go ahead and use Apom. Plus this is really the first opportunity I've gotten, yay, to use one in an LP since pearl honey trees were kind of annoying to use. You have to like remember and stuff. I could have changed my computer clock, but meh. And yes I will. And there we go. I'll be naming him. guys know what I'm referencing there besides a specific person who would obviously get who I'm referencing there then good job so yeah Apom has pickup um, I'm not sure what other ability he could have if any but yeah I, I do like Apom and okay I'll just spoil it when poke artist told me that um he liked Apom too. I said, okay, I'm using the Apom and I'll name it after you. So I guess I'll be right back again. Wow, that seems like a constant thing. Cut it going through or cutting to get back through the forest. God damn it. <gasps> Joey's calling! Hey, we both have purple normal types. How's it going, Joey? <gasps> My radit is at the top percentage! He said it! By the way, I don't think I actually made it clear, but the reason I named it Art Poke instead, and I'm calling it Poke, not Pokey, uh, is because, like, I'm sort of doing a play on his hand for a tail thing, like poking with your hand, even though it's technically your finger, but whatever. I'm sort of doing a play on that with Art Poke. Um, I probably could have done Poke Art but I felt it wouldn't be as clear. Plus, Apom's a little backwards anyway. Uh, let's see if he can take it, actually. No, I didn't want to run. For some reason, I'm. it doesn't respond very often. But yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm gonna give Apom headbutt. Uh, just because not only does he get stabbed from it, but... Well, it's just useful. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna do a little training that will actually be part of this video, kind of. Uh, you'll see, it's because Zubat's actually close to evolving, 
And by s so what I'm gonna do is get both Quilava and Zubat to level 22, and Art Poke to uh, lo about level 15 maybe. And another Kimono Girl. Lost in Dark Forest. It's actually considered night in the game, and it's kind of getting dark now, actually. And this is actually quite stupid. I don't know why they did this, because literally you just go like that way. And this is the tree right here I was thinking of. That's like sort of straight up for me. I don't know how I remember that, but I'm pretty sure this is a headbuttable tree. Ether! If you have Surf, you could have taken a shortcut there, but whatevs. So if you talk to this girl... Oh, I was all in with her. Uh, you will get TM12. Which is Taunt. Uh, makes it so the Pokemon can only do moves that damage, do damage to you, which sounds useless, but actually does have its uses practically. And... I'll be right back because I didn't realize I was going to get to this route this episode. Okay, so what I meant by doing training is I'm going to battle all these trainers. However, it's going to be super sped with probably 8-bit wind playing just because it hasn't been used in Soul Silver yet. But anyway, uh, for this trainer, I'm just going to go over the Pokemon. The Pokemon... Oh, by the way, I don't think I'll be switching the art thing just because that's way too much work. But anyway, the new Pokemon are... Drowsy, Ditto, Abra, and Krabby can be caught by fishing. Uh, Drowsy is an okay psychic type. Um, there's definitely better ones, including the other psychic type on this route. Um, if you want, you can catch a Drowsy and trade it for a Machop in the next city, which can be useful for the next gym. But... Um, I don't know. Z Drowsy's just... Never, I've never really liked Drowsy or Hypno. <sighs> Even though I feel they are underappreciated, I've never really liked them. Uh, Ditto Ditto is utterly useless in battle. Um, I'd only suggest using a Ditto for what, like, 99% of the people use one for, and that's catching or breeding because ditto is able to breed with any pokemon except um pokemon that can't actually breed and that includes genderless he can breed with like magnemite and voltorb and stuff but he can't breed with legendaries and i think that's it for unable to breed besides manaphy manaphy produces fiona we're not going to get into that because there's not a way to actually get manaphy in this game or fiona for that matter but yeah Abra is an annoying Pokemon because you literally have one turn to do something because it uses teleport, which instantly teleports it out of the battle. So if you want to use an Abra, you're probably going to be stuck just throwing a Pokeball. Abras are quite rare. Um, and they aren't exactly the most common or easy to catch. I mean, so they are. Once they evolve, they're pretty good. Oh my god! They're another Pokemon that require trade, though. Fucking Christ! I don't recall anyone actually using Sand. Oh yeah, the Sandshrew did. Oh my god. But yeah, um... So if you can't trade, then don't use one. But if so, they're pretty good. And Krabby is a meh... Actually, I think they're okay, Water-type. Um, pure water, not really that special. Um, I don't know, they're another Pokemon that I just never really liked. I, I guess if you want to use one, they're kind of decent. I don't know. So anyway, I'll take on all these trainers with sexy music playing in the background. Which is probably 8-bit win, so I don't have to go find something new. So I'll see you guys when I'm done that. Actually, now that I think about it, that will be a pain in the ass to upload so Poke Artist can go through and take all the stuff, so I'm just gonna take all the trainers on this route. 
and cut because this video is already almost 20 minutes long and and it, it's probably gonna exceed 50 if I do that and I don't really want to astonish so be right back uh, this is one of those trainers that will give you the leaf stone actually and I've taken everyone out down here so there's a little bit of a story thing up here. Lyra is back. Uh, this is basically explaining the daycare, which um, you can put Pokemon, two Pokemon in the daycare at a time, and they'll gain levels. If one's male, one's female, and they're in the same egg group, then they will breed and give you an egg of whatever the female is. Your boyfriend. You can just happens to live nearby. She knows. Creepy old lady. Um. Yeah, so. Oh. I didn't. I thought I already had her number. I like how um, she gave me her number. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I like how she gave me her number right in front of her grandmother who already accused us of being in love. And um, I believe if you have an egg, or if there's an egg ready, uh, he'll call you if you're not in the area, like on this specific map. I believe he'll call you. So I, I'm just going to finish taking on the trainers and then train Zubat and all them to the levels I said I would earlier. Okay, be right back. Here's the TM for Embargo. So I actually gave it some uh, thought and I'm actually kind of tired of playing. So I, uh, I think I'll continue training later and I'll record it and just tack it on to... Either the end of this video or the beginning of next. I believe it's 22. It might be 26. For some reason, I can't remember. Probably someone's 20. I think it's Haunter. And I get them mixed up for some reason. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.